Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This look is meant to be the CD Cenobite. Now, it's basically a look from the third instalment of the Hellraiser series, and uh, which is called, I believe, Hell on Earth. Basically, the CD Cenobite is a regular DJ in a club that Pinhead takes over and converts um, the DJ into this Cenobite by basically just taking loads of his CDs and jamming them in his head and yeah it pretty much sums up his character <laughs> and he kills people by pretty much just ejecting and throwing sharp CDs at them and cutting them into pieces that kind of a thing and I just thought it'd be a cool look to recreate and I had so much fun doing my pinhead makeup that I thought this might be a nice little additional one and I might do more Cenobites if you guys want and yeah so there's not a lot else I can explain with this look so if you'd like to see how to recreate it stay tuned so I'll let you guys know now, I'm going to be using a lot, a lot of latex for this look, as I've been doing a lot lately. I promise in the future I'll think of another medium to use as opposed to latex and gelatin, but for now it's the most effective thing I can think of using for this type of look. Um, so I'm going to start off by blocking out my eyebrows because I'm going to be covering um, lots of latex all over my eyebrows as well and I don't want it to pull out my eyebrows. And I'm going to be applying a plain latex ball cap as well because no Cenobite seems to have hair, or at least they have like 99% of their hair removed, don't they? So, <laughs> so I'll pop a couple links here and here to tutorials I've done in the past to teach you guys how to apply your ball caps and block out your eyebrows just so I can save some time up in this video. So there we are, that's my ball cap applied and my eyebrows covered. Uh, make sure, obviously, you do at least three coats of like, I've got spirit gum, then wax and more spirit gum on my eyebrows for the three coats just because I'm going to be applying liquid latex directly on top of them and it's completely safe, don't worry. I've done it plenty of times in the past. It means whenever you remove the latex, if anything, it's just going to remove the wax or some glue. It's not going to move your eyebrows, so don't worry. So now I'm going to take a sponge and some liquid latex and I'm going to coat my entire face and... Um, I'm going to probably do a couple extra coats on the line of my ball cap join just so when I run my finger across it there's no edge whatsoever. Um, I'm going to do probably about two coats on the face and then I'm going to start using some tissue but I'll show you that as I do it. So here we go. I should point out I've put Vaseline on my beard just so I can put latex over it, just so it doesn't pull out my beard, basically. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to take some regular tissue paper, which I've torn into so I've got the thinner side. I'm going to take some more of the liquid latex, and I'm going to start dabbing this on the side of my mouth, because I'm going to be just layering it up ever so slightly, just on the side of my mouth, just so I can cut into it later, so I've got this really long, like, straight gash going across my uh, mouth. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to apply another two coats on top of that so I'll have three coats of tissue going across the mouth so that when I cut into it it's going to be that really deep gash right across the mouth. It's kind of like a CD hole kind of thing so it's that kind of a thickness. <laughs> so I've also done another coat of latex on my face as well just so I can get a nice thick layer built up. Then I'm going to take some cotton pads, just regular cotton pads which I'm going to just pull into like I've done the tissue just so I've got a thinner side. So, okay, so I've got this. The idea with this is I'm going to cut it up into tiny little shapes like this because I'm going to try and make the eyes look like slits going across because it, uh, it, the idea is he's, he's, um, he's blind, basically. You can't see anything. You've just got these slits going across, more like CD holes. But obviously I think can't be blind for this because I won't be able to do the makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these down, one underneath the eye like this, and I'm going to take another one might cut these a little bit differently and just stick that whoop, so the straight sides are on the middle just over my eyebrow like that so maybe a bit further down just so it doesn't interfere with my blinking or anything but it makes the eyes look a lot more slanted and when I colour this and put more latex on I can have a slit going out here as well so it just looks like there'll be two slit holes that's the idea I don't know if it's going to work but it, this, that's what this channel is all about experimenting so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of latex underneath and start on that first and then saturate one of these pieces of, of cotton underneath and then we'll let that dry. So 
So there we are. Uh, funnily enough, it actually doesn't affect my vision as bad as you'd think, just because my camera is slightly up higher, so it makes it look like this. But as you can see, hey, <laughs> the only thing you can't actually do very well is look up, but hey-ho, looking up is overrated, isn't it? <laughs> but everything else I can see fine, which works out well, so I can carry on with the makeup. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to let all this dry. And the idea is I think I'm just going to use my finger to apply the latex. I'm going to dip my finger in latex and just start rubbing it over the edges just to buff out the edge here and here. Um, I'll let it dry in between coats and just keep doing it until the edge is more or less smooth over. When I apply the colour to this, all the edges and white areas are going to disappear completely anyway. But So you see the effect I'm going for? So I'm going to cut, paint this cut going up here and here at the end of this and it'll just look like two extra CD slots there. Okay. <laughs> I'm still coating up the latex, but at this point I kind of look like Cyclops or Magneto from X-Men. I can see a future tutorial coming up for that. <laughs> I've done another coat of latex all over this, and I'm just going to let it dry now. Um, I should point out, when you stick these down, the whole point of it working, the whole way this works, is do not stick them to your eyelids. It just needs to be hanging over the area that you've stuck down here. That's what makes it work, so you can blink freely. Okay? Sorry, I completely forgot to record that bit. I just took a bit of tissue and stuck it across the bottom of my jaw just so I can get that really nice. It's going on the bottom of my lip as well, just so I can get that really straight line across when I cut into the latex across the mouth. So when that's all dry, it should start looking something like this. Okay? <laughs> so then I'm going to take my trusty Cryolan TV paint stick in 1W, which is like a, a thick cream foundation or concealer, really, and I'm going to apply that all over this piece and slightly down my neck as well. I'm not going to go too far down my neck because I'm going to be wearing a costume that comes up to about here, so, okay. Then I'm just going to dull it down a little bit with some Grimace translucent powder that will make it look a little bit more paler and the colour will be a lot more even, yeah. I'm just going to take some black Snazaroo watercolour and I'm just going to paint the inside of this area here just so it looks a lot darker so it's less obvious to see my eyes basically. Then I'm going to start working on the cuts here. So be super careful with this. I'm going to use some scissors but please, please be careful. Uh, I'm just going to pull up the edge around my mouth just so I can start cutting in. And the idea is I want to cut a straight line going completely across, so no going up or anything, just straight out. There we are, so you can see there what I've done. Okay, that looks pretty creepy as it is, I think. <laughs> so then, I'm just going to make the holes a tiny bit bigger because we want them to look permanently open, really. Okay, try not to make it too neat, because yes, it needs to be straight across, but it needs to look like it's just been ripped open, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, dokie, so now that's done, I think I'm going to do a few extra cuts into the sides of the face. Not huge cuts like the mouth, just more straight lines going out. Yeah, probably about out here, just to go in line with these ones, I think. I'm just going to pinch about here. There we are. So, once I've made a small hole, I can just cut... Again, a straight line going across. Okay, so the idea is when I put my mask on, it's going to line, those cuts will line up with these ones here, so I'll ever so slightly offset them so it kind of looks like just on the bottom of the mask you see the blood coming out, that kind of thing. I then took a blank CD disc that you you know the usual kind that you buy from like PC stores that you write music onto that kind of thing, and I've cut them in half in the way and so you've got this slightly curved angle so that I can stick them down like that. And I've also stuck hot glue gun some strips of card to the bottom just so it's got a slight base to stick to, so then I can stick them there to, onto my bald cap. And also, I've made five of them, so they're going to be across like this, and I'm going to stick them on with some Pro Stick, or Pro's Aid, most people call it, or use. Um, you could use Spirit Gum, just you'd have to make it really, really sticky or tacky. Or you could use Latex, even, just make sure it's sticky enough to be able to bond it to the ball cap. And yeah, so I'm going to start applying these, and we'll go from there. So there we are. So they're all nice and secure, you'll know, because you'll feel how springy they are if you try like that, you'll know. Okay, so now I need to work on covering the edges where I've got my little um, stilts on just to hold them in place. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use liquid latex and tissue again, doing exactly the same method as I did before, cutting them into really fine strips, careful not to get any latex onto the CD because it will tarnish that shine and it just won't look as effective. And the idea is just to, maybe about that thick, probably a bit less, all on the edges and just saturate with latex, keep going, maybe about two to three coats on the edges and then we'll colour it again just as we've done the face. There we are, so once I'm just going to leave the, all that icky mess up there to dry. <laughs> um, so now I've done that, I'm just going to quickly make a couple more cuts just up here. Not obviously into my wall cut because then hair will show through, but probably up to about there just to make these cuts quite a bit wider looking. Not massively wider, I mean I can make it a lot wider with uh, the paint up here, but for now, yeah, that's what it looks like. Then I'm going to take a Kryolan bruise wheel and I'm going to take this really, really nice dark, dark purpley bluey colour and I'm going to coat the outside of all of these lines, just the outside colour and just slightly over the flaps. Then I'm just going to colour the entire area in all these cuts with the burgundy red colour. Okay, so start looking something like this. Then I'm just going to take this off like skin, dead skin type tone colour and a fairly medium brush here and I'm just going to start dabbing this all over the look in random places. I'm not, this isn't fully dry yet so I'm not going to do anything to that area yet but just, just to deaden up the skin tone and make it look a bit more, yeah, dead coloured. <laughs> okay, so that's a really nice off skin tone, yeah, just icky basically. <laughs> so now that I've done that, I can start on a tiny bit of shading. Granted the mask is going to be covering a lot of this makeup here, but a lot of this area here rather, but I'm going to do a, like a big nasal labial folds and stuff like that and it's just the grimace look here so I'm just going to take that dark blue colour again and I'm just going to try and sketch in some really really harsh nasal labial folds so try and keep the harsh line on the inside so this area is puffier and this area tapers off and that creates the shadow <laughs> and I can just do the same here just give yourself some angle lines blend them outwards so leaving the middle bit all um, neat and well not neat but not not blended upon so there's a harsh line in the middle a few wrinkles here I think so now that that's dry I'm going to colour it in exactly the same way I did my face using the 1W and the dead skin colour over the top of that but in between I've got to powder it and I'm also just kind of colouring down the sides of the CDs with the red colour from my bruise wheel, then the bread, the darkish red, the burgundy, just so I can get the illusion of one depth or two, the fact that it's cutting into the skin and it's not going to be the regular skin colour, is it? <laughs> then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of fake blood to all of these wounds and around the eyes ever so slightly, only a tiny bit on the cuts here, I don't really want to make these too fresh, I want these to be the fresh cuts. If you want to learn how to make fake blood, I'll pop a link here to one of my previous tutorials where I teach you guys how to do this. There we are. Okay, so then I'm going to apply my mask, which is the reason why I've left this whole area pretty much blank. There's only a little bit of shading on there because this is going to cover most of it. Now it's going to go about here. It's, I would, I mean I can sort of talk through how I made it, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just cut up loads of strips of cardboard like this and stuck them all together with a hot glue gun. Um, and there's a key ring in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> and some silver um, card I've got on there and I just hot glued it together and spray painted it all black. That's pretty much it. It's just like an Alice band, like tiara type thing. But the idea is it goes over here and I'm going to stick it down with some Pro Stick and it's going to go there. And that would do it, I think. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So I popped on my little black mask and my long Matrixy style coat that they all the Cenobites seem to have. 
And yeah, so make sure you've got a prop of a CD or a few that you can pretend to throw around because that seems to be his weapons of choice, funnily enough. <laughs> but yeah, that that's my look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like it, you know, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe as usual. And yeah, so until next time. Bye.